Hey everybody, peace out. I'm Chuck. Welcome to Ross Recording Studios. And we are farming. Sometimes we play the guitar. Sometimes we teach you music. Sometimes we play some funny stuff. And uh, today we're farming. And sometimes we write the songs about farming. And give you a little heads up. I do have some years of experience starting with 2018, 2019, 2022 and I had to stop playing Farming 22 because the frame rate on the PlayStation couldn't keep up with my farm. So this frame rate seems to be a little bit stutter but it's okay. It's working way better than the other. And I learned a lot of stuff by trial by error myself. I will be hell over high water trying to figure stuff out. That's the fun of the game. That's the fun of gaming. In my book, I don't cheat. There's no sense in cheating. Now the, it's not a game. So I have extensive trial and error. And when I really get stuck, for example, how to get the sugar mill running when you have to have sugar beets in chopped form. You have sugar cane, sugar beets, chopped sugar beets. And yeah, I had to go, it wasn't Farmer Cop on that one, it was somebody else. Um, and they explained there's only one bucket that goes onto your front loader attachment I've tried I think I tried putting it direct on a front loader and it doesn't seem to work I may have done something wrong I'll try it again now that I know what I'm doing and uh, so yeah I, I do go to the other people on YouTube and check them out so I'm not going to rehash things that I have seen you can go to those other channels and give them the support so here we are with the forklift and I have done extensive hours and hours and hours there was no auto loading for me I was doing all PlayStation God, it looks something like them things are falling off the truck already so here we go one of the things is slow and steady See how long it takes those rear wheels to go back and forth? You're going back and forth in your direction and you, the wheels haven't come back yet. You're all over the place. So here's one trick. Right there you can see that forklift went up in the air. It won't drive straight when it does that. See, it, it goes, it's squirrely because the forks are actually lifting the front wheels off the ground powered by the rear wheels so you can't go all the way down unless it's all the way back if this is all the way back you can go all the way down so it doesn't raise the fork left so you can go all the way down it doesn't do that squirrely thing you know but now you can't get underneath your fork so by the time you can just see the forklift starting to rise. That's it right there. Now it'll drive perfectly straight. It'll steer what you want. It's not lifting the machine off the ground. It's just riding on the ground. And once you get this set up to a nice perfect spot. And you know, when I play these games, I think once I learn something, it's like, oh, everybody's learned this. Everybody knows how to, how to do this. Well, I may be wrong. Maybe there are some gamers out there that you want a little forklift experience. You've got in these things. Oh, my God. This thing, it's crazy. It's, it's not anything like a tractor at cars. Well, <coughs> excuse me. It's like in real life. I've driven all kinds of forklifts from these little propane models up to big motorized ones and you can watch the rear wheels they go really sharp this thing 
will go in its own circle right on the front wheels but now if I want to go straight one two it's like three seconds before you can go straight again so that's one of the things it's slow and steady so you bring the forks all the way down tip them forward till it just starts to tip the machine run it in and when you pick it up back pick it up all the way up so you can get another crate under there don't go forward don't try to get that other crate I've, I've gone forward and just stacked these crates the other one falls right there perfectly lower it down back it up put your forks down a little too low again you don't want to see I actually went in too far now it's not going to be perfectly aligned for the next drop so forget it we'll go get another one so you can do it this way we want to be sort of fast that the other one doesn't drop on the machine Let me get out of there so when they drop it out of the way. Okay, nice and tight. I could probably easily be running out of materials in there too, but I guess not. Okay, and then I park so it's I'm pretty close. And actually oh. Put the truck right where you need it for the first stack. Well, I get a little sloppy there. I try to. You want to keep it even. That trailer will tip over and it'll tip over easy too. But I don't think I can push that stack where it really needs to be. So I'll do it. Put it down. Back up a little bit. Up, go forward, and what I'll do is I'll push it with the next stack. Line up, tip the forks. Now you can see I'm not going to monkey around and try to get exact. Show you this loading style again here. So it's a good example of a mistake because now that thing is dropped. It's going to mess everything up. Well, I got to see the roof up there. That'll knock the box off if I hit it. And then I got to, then, then I've just created a mess. <laughs> so my. Let's click on my nice show here how to uh, drop the boxes is getting a little squirrely so sometimes what I do is I just stack these two in a pile. Keep your load even.
this is what you want to do. To make the easiest X possible. Get lined up perfectly if you can. You don't have to be exact. And now go down. And wait for the drop. It should be 10 seconds. One, two, three. But you can't hit them, but otherwise it won't be perfect. So you can see it's fairly fast. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. You might be running out of goods in there. Chocolate, I got the milk and I got the sugar. No. We got everything we need, right? One milk, one sugar, one chocolate. It should be popping out there. Well, I just sit out here all day waiting for it. Generally speaking, they keep dropping on. So you go to do a video, something changes. It's, that's the way it is. I'll show you since I'm here what I'm using these for is a cereal factory. Oh, that front ones didn't catch very good, did they? I hope they stay on. Since we're here, I don't have far to go. The whole idea behind the chocolate, making the chocolate, was to make cereal. And I thought making potatoes was a little tough, but cereal is a little tougher. Oh my God, we got I got some cereal going. Ah, that's my first run of cereal, ladies and gentlemen. And before it used to go, before it started, as soon as it's unstrapped, let's watch this go. Bloom! <laughs> let's take a look at the product. Wow! Look at the graphics on this cereal. I got chocolate loops, sweet wheat, and honey hoops. So I've, there's four different cereals I can make. And I thought I was only making one right now. So I'm not sure why there's so many. So I'll show you in the factory. Cereal factory. Cereal. Chocolate. Long grain rice cereal. Raisin. I know they ain't real raisin in there. Because I don't have any raisins. And rice cereal. So you go to the right. And it tells me I need 10 honey. 10 chocolate, 36 oats, corn equals 20 cereal. So, why is so? There should only be four kinds of cereal out there, right? 
Well, no, actually, it's like one box. So, go back over here. Laundering rice takes no chocolate. And that shouldn't, that's not active. See, up here I have the active. This is, these three, I, I could run. I can't run the raisins because I don't have any material. It should say, yeah, see. Gets the red. Exclamation mark. So this one here, I need just honey and laundry and rice. This one, I need raisins, 40 oats, corn. I haven't done the raisins yet. And this one is just laundry and rice, which I just learned how to grow that too. It's a little bit different. You don't need uh, saplings like rice. So we're all, we're all over the place. I would say this is the most difficult level but I've been, like I said, I've been playing this so long that, alright, like I said, there should not be any, uh, rice in here. So we got one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, there's just the three kinds. So it looks like there's more kinds because they're all doubled up. Boy, oh boy, am I just the happiest camper. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> and you can see the pallets are quite bigger than you would anticipate in the tractor. Like, this thing is huge. Look at it. Bravo for Farming Simulator bringing third person in. You know, it'd be nice if Call of Duty got on that. Oh, get away from that first person. I'm a SOCOM fan from way back. And... The only other thing I will do is I will show you how I am preparing for raisins, even though go go from forklift to cereal factory, where I should just stop and say, hey, let's do the cereal factory. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're freezing up. No. Well. That's not good. <laughs> okay. Good forklift video.